Um, if anyone's listening or watching this and they're, and they're thinking, hmm, I, you know, I, I, I would like to be uh, an Amazon, either a developer or, or, or a software manager, what, what, how, how, do they, how do they go about it? Uh, again, the job board is uh, a great way to do it. Um, there, that's a, yeah, a uh, great way to find things that you're interested in. Yeah. Um, obviously if you know somebody inside that could be helpful. Um, but the truth is, uh, uh, the recruiting is so active that, mm. you know, you really just apply and you just talk to somebody, um, <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, understand the requirements of the job and just make sure you kind of fill, fill that in like the basic qualifications. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, if you're looking to be a developer, um, Amazon has a, a high quality, like a high bar for mm. which they look for, for developers. Mm. Um, so you just kind of got to make sure you're prepared for that. Yeah. Um, it's not a long process. Um, I think the most I've heard of somebody doing interviews wise was like um, two, three pre on sites and then an on site. So it's typically pretty fast. Mm. Um, and when we, when we hire externals, it's typically um, one phone and then an on site. Okay. It's really fast. Wow. Um, but, yeah. you know, as a developer, they're going to be questioning you on like, you know, your development skills. It's sure, going to be able to. Um, and there's a lot of debate in the industry about how uh, effective um, code tests are and assessment, uh, you know, code assessments are and mm. whatnot. But um, I think the the truth is, is on Amazon scale, you can't do it the way um, other people would do it, right? If you if I was when I hired people at um, my startup, it mm. was a very intimate process. It was sitting down with me a couple hours, um, diving into things, you know, being really, really hands on, mm. going to lunch and just, you know, having a great conversation and really making, um, great connections with people. Um, it's, that's a bit harder at Amazon, but it doesn't mean that you can't get those connections. Right. Um, you know, um, I think good hiring managers will always try to make sure that the, that connection is there at some point. Sure, sure. Um, so, so am I right to think then that there is definitely t- test re- tests and and, and um, all that co tests and stuff for developers? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, which, yeah, I, yeah. Um, again, depending on what org year is, is, it's the difference in how it how it happens. But mm-hmm. yeah, there there's definitely a, a validation period. I mean, we do, we can't ask for any of your previous code samples and no. um, intellectual property issues. You know, you sure. can't do that. So sure. realistically, you have to you have to be able to do a code test. Yeah. Um, but it's it's one of those things where good interviewers, and this goes across the board, anybody who's doing a code test, mm. um, will do it in a way that it's it's not a challenge, you know, it's not the point of the challenge. It's a point of how do you disseminate that information and then try to solve it? It's the process that matters. 